<laughs> okay. Yes. You know, when I was young, as many of these born during the 60s, I was really fond of you. Really. And, I mean, Love Hurts, who hasn't danced to this <laughs> with uh, a lot of love to a boy or something like that. <laughs> and what did you think when, uh, when uh, your band was, was uh, singing? Because you are not a singer, but when you, when you made this um, hit, what did you think about it? What did I think about it? At the time, we didn't, you know, it was just another song. Just another song, we thought we'd try it. And it you know, we liked the song a lot. It's a great song. Um, from the Everly Brothers and from Roy Orbison, mm -hmm. we knew it, and we tried it, and we thought it oh, sounds okay, you know. But we never ever thought it was going to be as successful as it was, you know. And it was successful for us all over the world. So our biggest hit, really. What about uh, tomorrow? Will you? Um, I mean, will you have this song on the hit list tomorrow? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, don't, I don't think people would be very happy if we didn't play it, you know. <laughs> no, it's our, you know, more, uh, it's our most popular song. Um, so far I have understood you really made a Nazareth sound. You were the producer of it, you yeah, say. I was the writer and the producer and guitar player. Uh, yeah, I had a good, good run with them, with the rest of the guys. Worked together for 20 years with them. But the then original band, you know. Yes. And the drummer is the, the dead. The drummer died. Yeah, he he died in '99, I think it was. Yeah, he was he was only 53. Mm. Yeah, it was sad. Mm. So you know, no more original Nazareth, really. Mm. You know, there, there can't be the original band ever again. So. No, because I understood also when I went uh, watch the internet, there are two. It's you and then there are some uh, in Scotland uh, calling them Nazareth and it, it seems to be a little bit conflict between you, is it, is it true? Yeah, there's a little bit of a conflict about it, but you know, it's it's as simple as, the, you know, when a band starts and, you know, Nazareth is like a brand name, it's like a, you know, it's famous, the name is more famous than the people, you know, <coughs> so they continued with the name for a long time, but, but you know, the four, four original guys, they have the rights to the name. They can use the name. As long as I put my name along with it, use my name in conjunction, yes. then it's, legally, it's, it's okay. But, you know, they're but a little bit angry they on their, you. They have their version of it, you know, and they have been working for years and years, and I just wanted to go out and play some shows and see all my old fans, you know. What do you feel about uh, this? Because they are putting a letter on their website about yeah, this. Yeah, they're very, very, they're angry about it, you know, very angry about it, and uh, yeah, what's in the name, you know? The fans know who I am, and they know what to expect. They can go see the, the old band with, with Dan singing, or they can come and see me play the guitar, you know? And Kaisa, she also told me that you won, won uh, some... Um, uh, trials in court also. No, it's never been to court. You've never been to court? No, it's not been to court. No, it's you didn't need there's to no that. foundation for it to go to court. Okay. But no. I mean, you you were really the the, the, the creator of the Nasser sound, I mean, in yeah. uh, the song. Yeah, the, the original guitar player, the, the producer, and the, the main writer wrote most of the songs, most, most all of the music, really, you know, so I don't want to play it, I just want to go out and play to my old fans and play my music. But how do you feel when it is like this uh, still? It doesn't somewhere? really bother me. It's sad that they feel that way, you know. The world's a big place and time goes on, you know. <laughs> Life's too short for all that, really. But tomorrow, I mean, it's coming five or six thousand people to this small village mm -hmm. and listen to you. Great. How do you feel to be here? Great. It's fantastic, really. Yeah. yeah I'm glad to be here and see all the old fans and have a good time. But it's the only show in Sweden. Why? I don't know why. Maybe next year we'll play more. We've played a lot. We're playing a lot in the states. We've played a lot of shows there. <coughs> so, and um, you know, some some people are a bit worried that you know it's not the original band and. Sort of but it doesn't exist anymore. It doesn't no, it can't exist without the drummer. You know, the original drummer. Um. 
You know, when I was a teenager, I danced to these uh, songs. I don't remember the names. Like this, I can't remember. Uh, but there are a lot of them. Your and I had a poster in my room also. You did? Yes. <laughs> Of Nazareth, Sweet, Doctor yeah, yeah. Hook, yeah. all of you, all and I had the albums. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So it's so happy for me to see you now. Really, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's good to be here. Yeah. Yeah. And you know, this impact, like me as a teenager, it was really big. I mean, and uh, I was not alone. I know that. Oh yeah. How do you feel for that? People, people our age or younger, you know, your age, and, and I mean, we we used to like our music a lot. We used to buy albums and all that stuff. Now people don't seem to care that much. There's so much music out there. You get on their computer and download it for free. They, they, I don't think they care quite as much as we did about uh, our music. During the 70s, in the 60s uh, and 70s, you know, I was a big Beatles fan. Bought every album, you know. Uh, but now I don't think kids, well, CDs, they, you know, the sales of CDs are went right, 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 right down, you know. So it's a, it's a different world now. You know, the internet, the internet's changed everything, really. Of course. But what do you think about the audience tomorrow? What, what sort of audience well, do you they'll expect? They'll be the same audience. I mean, it doesn't matter, you know, and I've played all over the world. And, um, and audiences are the same everywhere. They're just young people, they want to have a good time and let off some steam and... You know, have have fun. They're all the same. Doesn't matter the language. You know, <coughs> people don't. A lot of people we play to don't really understand English. You know, we played in Russia and South America and everything. You know, but people they just enjoy the music. I think the energy. Yeah, they feel the energy. Because that's what I'm thinking. I mean, you you are not a teenager, or uh, you are not 20. You are no. I don't know how about uh, six. I think 55, 60. 66. 66. 66. Say <laughs> age as my mother, more or less. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yes, uh, but she was very young when she <laughs> when she uh, got me. But anyway, um, h how do you get the energy to keep going on with this music? Yeah, it's just in your heart and soul. You know, you just feel it. You're either a rock fan or a rocker at heart, and that's it. I mean, I don't jump up and down all over the place like I used to, you know. <laughs> don't jump around so much, but uh, I, can, I can still play, you know. <laughs> I can still play with the same energy. You'll see tomorrow. And you also get energy from it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. From the audience, you know, you feel it. You feel the energy, and you're having a good time, you do. It's good. It's being a performer. My last question is to you is uh, I see at uh, um, uh, your your friend here also had this uh, hearing, hearing aid. Yes. Yeah. Why why do you have this? It's loud. Music's very loud. Marshall stacks for twenty years every night. <laughs> no. So what do you damage like my now? hearing. And you don't have to be in a rock band to have need a hearing aid when you get to my age, you know. <laughs> There's lots of people got hearing aids. You know, but uh, no, it's, it's the volume on stage. The on stage volume is loud. You don't regret anything because of that? Uh, not really. Not really. You know, I need glasses too. You know. <laughs> 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 okay, but of all these songs you have written and and produced, I would say, which is your favorite? Well, my favorite. I mean, Love Hurts or or This Flight Tonight. I like that a lot. That's a great song too. That love hearts, you know. And tomorrow there will be both of them. Oh yeah. yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> nice to meet you. You too. Mm -hmm.